The civilian death toll keeps mounting in eastern Ukraine, with at least 52 people reported killed on Wednesday. The city of Donetsk has been hit the hardest. Nine people were killed and 13 wounded. Many buildings destroyed. Some shells reportedly landed in the center of the city, while in other districts, residential houses were completely leveled. The humanitarian situation in the east keeps deteriorating. The French foreign minister calls it appalling. He's also calling for a ceasefire and delivery of humanitarian aid. Meanwhile, the UN says 415,000 people have become refugees in eastern Ukraine. Maria Finoshna spoke to some of those caught in the fighting. The devastation of wayward shelling. We were here last four days ago, and we've returned to find Lugansk bearing the scars of sustained attack. Kiev is calling this full-on assault the final stage of its military operation. And the effect it's having on locals is all too clear. Every day, residential areas of the city of Lugansk are being targeted. Fortunately, when this five-story apartment building was hit, no one was hurt. By the time it happened, almost all the residents have already fled. Minutes later, we come across two of the handful of people still living here and they are clearly terrified. Many of those still here are either elderly or too sick to leave. And like Yelena, they are forced to take shelter in their basements when the shelling begins. This is the scene in Lugansk central market. It was hit on Monday. But the smell of burning still hangs heavy in the air, and it's still in the line of fire. This is Lugansk city market. A man shelled here. We rush to the nearest bomb shelter, another basement. Candles can still be found in the shops, and they've become crucial in a city without electricity. We were just about to start filming our piece to camera when the shell landed just meters away from us. The near constant bombardment is taking its toll on locals. <laughs> Victoria tells us she has little choice but to stay. Thousands of refugees have poured out of Lugansk to escape the recent shelling. And even if this turns out to be the final assault on the city, as the government in Kiev claims, the effects of the sustained fighting will be felt by civilians here for many years to come. Marie Fnoshna, RT, in Lugansk, Ukraine.